<laughs> Thank heavens I won't have to set eyes or foot on any more of those horrid creatures ever again. You! Sam! Us! Hedge, now! Pull it over! Let's go! Yay! Hurry! Ugh. Kia! Run! Run! Come on, hurry! <laughs> Once again, we're home sweet. Dead. Doesn't this human ever give up? Uh, let me rephrase that. I give up. Come on, Vern. Are you a turtle or a mouse? Well, well. Look what the hedge dragged in. Hey, you're not so mad about losing all your food, are you? <laughs> you sure look mad chasing us back there. Hey, wait, Vincent. I can explain. Better yet. No choice. Run for it. That's not a cheery headline, but where'd RJ Skev off to now? Drink, Emmy. Drink. Go, Emmy. Why won't you go? You already been. Rewiring the conductor friend to the propane tanks might have made all the difference. You're fired. What you did back there, that was really brave. And stupid. I, I can't exactly say I was wrong about you, RJ, but thanks for making me a, a little wrong towards the end, at least. I'm just glad everything turned out. And don't worry, next time will be way easier. I got it all figured out. Next time. Animals! Come out and play! Be careful, it's coming from that car. Hey, this reminds me, I've been thinking we should start a band.
what I'm talking about. Feel free to resume gnawing and spreading pestilence immediately. Hey, look at that! I think that brown rabbit wants to play! much fun we have with the raccoon in charge? This is my park, and you're my dinner. Avoid being eaten! Whoa, whoa! Hold still so I can eat ya! Where's your manners? Were you raised in a barn? There's no match for a squirrel with a boomerang. Where's the popcorn making doodle backle? I thought popcorn was mostly air. Put your shell into it, Vern. Is that a fat joke? All right, gang. Here's the 411. The Backstreet Boys. Uh, old screensaver. It was on there when I got it. <laughs> you just got this phone. Great, let's go over the plan. We, i.e. us, come out of the hedge into this yard. From there, we head up to these so-called deadly high-voltage power lines. You're out of your mind. It's perfectly safe. Hammy runs along power lines all the time, don't you, champ? <laughs> that blue sparkly stuff tickles my toes and makes my eyes smoke. You're right. These meetings are really helpful. Power lines lead us right to this attic window, as if by divine providence. We go through the attic, then cross through this yard. Bingo! We're at the Smith's back door, dead or alive. It's as easy as pie, but without the hassle of burning the crust. Just the image I needed. Burn. A wise raccoon once said that none of us can truly appreciate life until we try extra hard to lose it. I'd tell you what happened to him, but it's a sad story. Okay, we ready? Let's go! Why can't all yards we almost die crossing be this well decorated? Well, you gotta give the humans credit. They sure know how to make us want to smash their stuff. Hey, a castle. Reminds me of those medieval logs our ancestors lived in. Hmm, so way I see it, we need to get over to that house, then across those wires. Whoever said a skunk's life would be easy really skunked us. For a minute there, I actually thought you said wires. You know, like the electrical current carrying kind. But first, we gotta get this bridge working.
One, you silly fuss budgets. folks there trust me you don't even want to know anyone got a lawnmower what for me i told you vincent wasn't here look everybody it's vincent Grr. must eat annoying Raccoon! Let's compromise. Eat this rock! Run right away! Ah! Ah! Look, Vincent, for what it's worth, we never meant you any harm. It was just funny to us when harm befell you. Oh, he wants to play. Come here, you big lug.
supposed to be here. I demand a rewrite. Vincent, what's the last thing you remember? That human with all the traps shooting you with a drag dart. And you, destroying all my stuff. Twice. Uh, let's get back to the first last thing you remember. You were brainwashed into wanting to attack us thanks to this! Well, actually, I still want to attack you. But not as much, right? Look, Vincent, we have a common enemy. RJ? The other common enemy. Remember the big human who shaved you in that contraption? Yeah. I'd like a bite of that human to give him something to remember. I'm in. Bears are so easy. <laughs> oh, Thurman! Con son, jiggly fat gelatandrius! Um, duck. <laughs> you! Uh, oh. ah! I would have gotten away with brooming them too if it wasn't for you meddling rolly coasters. Huh? What a maroon! Come on, let's move it. Where's the funny smelling guy? Uh, I kind of wish you hadn't said that. See? <laughs> You scallywagon varmints! They're just in time for what back in my day we like to call the end! Uh oh, he has stop! Stop alert! Hey, he's pretty good with those. Oh, you vermin think you're smarter than me? Ah! Try this off a size. I don't much like the sound of that size part. Let's go! Quick, grapple across!
won't get away with this! I'll call Vertech and whoa! A lot of work for a cotton candy machine. You should see what I'll do for chocolate bars. Uh no. Voila! Kazunite! Ozzy, what are you doing here? The sniffer, that evil human, he has Heather. For all I know, he already has one of those metal things on her sweet, innocent head. Or worse. Come on, worse than getting a cap slammed on your head? Wham! Then you're under his control and you walk around like this. Then you attack your own father and you get captured. What? We'll get Heather back, safe and sound. I'm all for rescuing and revenge and all, but how are we gonna find him? There's one person who definitely knows how to find the sniffer. Yep, no choice. Gotta get Heather back. <sighs> all right, we're going back to Gladys' house. Well, all, the stakes have never been higher. Mmm, steak. We're looking for Gladys' PDA, which is a human gadget that holds addresses they never visit and phone numbers they never call. So far ahead of us, in so many ways. Gladys' new house is in the new part of the suburbs, so we're going through some construction. Hooray! Dirt! Uh, right. Dirt. Lots of dirt, hamster. And if you're a good squirrel, maybe even some rust. Now, here's the thing. We have to go through these two yards, then through this house and up to the scaffolding. I'm no skunk Floyd Wright. But that don't exactly look at all safe. It can hold three or four good-sized human men, so you should be fine. Vern, on the other hand... Hey, enough with the fat jokes. I can't help it if my shell is heavy, and, and technically, it's muscle. Right, that's all shell. Whatever you say, buddy. Anywho, we'll drop right down into Gladys's yard, pop into the back door, and hope I figure out what happens next before then. The perfect plan to fill the perfect log. So easy, even Hammy could do it. Huh? Let's go! Mission accomplished, or at least getting to the mission debriefing accomplished. We gave the place there a real once-over earlier, and I'd say it looks pretty safe down there. Borderline real good then. What up with that chick with the angry shock prod? Where's she at and how long we got? Oh, her. She's out in front. You should be all right in the backyard. It's a whole few feet away in plain view then. Fair enough. Let's make it happen. There's something you don't see every day, huh? I just remembered somewhere I gotta be. Hey, look! Some propane! I wonder what that stuff does. Maybe it'll probe our pains.
robot bigger than that to get my pelt buster. What boss do we get to boomerang next? I'm all for continuing this magical journey. Maybe in a front yard. We've done as much damage as we can here. Now, all we have to do is... You! I thought I smelled vermin. That's my PDA! You thieves! Yeep! Uncle! I've been preparing for this moment. All right, hairballs. It's go time. You want a little of this? <laughs> Woohoo! No turtle goes faster than Gladys Sharp! Everyone, this is your captain speaking. Please remain calm and in your seat until the car has come to a complete crash and explode. Looks like I picked the wrong week to swear off one night. Vincent, wait till you hear. 
defend the law. I'll take point. What are you afraid of, little vermlet? It doesn't hurt a bit to have your scalp pierced by sharp steel electrodes. Watch. Wait for him to slip up. Then we make our move. There you are. Just hold still. Presto. The perfect weapon. A wrench. The first step's simple. All we gotta do is just take out all those machines lining the room. What's the next phase involved? Uh, I left that part blank for now. You and you? This is almost too good to be true. Say your prayers, Roadkill. Shooting further than I can spray. Fight like a man. Vermin's ever made it out of Vermtech alive without me seeing them. Here comes Mr. Pants again. <laughs> How did you get up there? That's not good. 
permitted without a key card. You I don't have one. Good. sister i knew you'd come is my dad all right you sure will be glad to see you're safe and sound i believe that's our cue to evacuate this university before it becomes a mushroom cloud so many stars so many planets so much fur the horror Coming for me, Uncle RJ. Please, it was on the way. Whoa! This isn't over yet! I've had my cheeks singed by bigger animals than you'll ever be! Come on, we have to get after them. Call in the SWAT team. Naturally, Vern was against the whole idea. As usual, RJ's plan consisted of let's just go wherever the danger is and hope for the best. Plus, I ate some cheese fries this one time. Enough sitting around. Who wants to dance with a skunk? Oh, my little striped passion flower. I believe this next dance is mine. See? Told you there. All she needed was a good fella. Close enough, eh? I can't thank you enough for saving her. You are my heroes. Uh, you would have done it for us. No, but I would now. Well, it's getting to be about that time. Ugh. Yep. First day of winter tomorrow. Yep. Hey. You know, we only have 38 bags of nachos. Yep. Gonna be a long winter. A leap year and all. What are you trying to say? I'll get the wagon. Way ahead of you. <laughs> 